All right, folks, let's talk about the animation pipeline. I've got a bunch of stuff right here. Um, this is my animatic. And if you kind of scrub through, you can see a little bit of what's going on. And it's just basically teaching people how to make pottery. And there it is. Now, I've got my audio tracks. I've got everything numbered properly. I'm just going to double check in the panels menu to make sure that this is scene three because this is the third. Here's the fourth, the fifth six, seven, eight, and so on. I just want to make sure that everything matches properly because what I need to do is to take this into harmony. All right, so let's do that right now. I'm going to go to the file menu and what I want to do is export to harmony. And there are a bunch of options that are going to be available here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put these on the desktop, but you should put them wherever you guys store your stuff. And I'm going to choose a desktop folder. Now I want to go and give this uh, scene a name. So I'm going to call this, um, I guess, teach me. Teach dash me. And it will number everything accordingly after. Uh, for the format, uh, I'd like Harmony Offline 9.2 or higher. And then of course I want to choose original scene and you could choose if you only want a specific scene or if you want all of them, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can pretty much, if you've never done this before, you could just leave everything as is. Um, but at any rate, uh, let's hit the export button and it says open folder after export. So it's going to take a while to do that, um, especially if you have a bunch of drawings like I do. Um, but notice, look at everything that was created. So I have my Teach Me Pottery, I have all of these other ones, and we saw a second ago, since there are eight different folders, it makes sense because if I go ahead and let me just close this in Storyboard Pro, I have eight separate scenes, and within each scene I have my panels. Now what I want to do is let's close Storyboard Pro, because I don't need that right now. And what I'd like to do is to go and examine and see what I got. So notice um, I've got all my teach me stuff right over here and if you click click this very first one here's all of my storyboard pro content information. So notice I've got my folders, audio, um, we've got the actual S board file that will open things up. Let me go and click this first one which is a teach me dash one and notice that we've got everything generated for Harmony. So let's go and click click this first X stage file. It will launch in Harmony. And then we'll take a look and see what we've got. Now what's pretty nice about this, um, by the way, um, I wanna click, when this shows up, you wanna click don't ask me again, and you wanna click yes. And this is basically asking you if you wanna keep all of the, con the colors, okay? So I'm gonna click yes. So what's pretty cool is now I'm in Harmony and here I am with the node view and all that other stuff and my color tool and all that. And I could just scrub through the actual animation. Let me just turn off the audio scrubbing. So I could just kind of, I can kind of scrub through and you can take a look and see what I've got. Now it's pretty neat because um, I set all this up as one separate scene because the background's basically going to be the same. So my first storyboard drawing was this guy. And of course I, I used a motion tween to bring this guy in. My next one was this one and I drew the arm in a different direction. And then you can kind of see there's really nothing that's happening right now, but of course I've got my audio, so I'm probably going to have to do some lip sync animation. And then of course I've got this picture, this picture, this picture, and then of course I've got this mug that's going to actually start moving. So if we kind of break this down, here's what I need to do. I need to have some kind of a background image. I need to have some kind of a rigged character. I don't need the legs. I don't really need this arm to move, but it would be nice if this arm could move. I need to make a piece of clay, and I need to make some kind of a face that can be rigged 
and used in order to do some lip sync animation. Might be cool to actually have the glasses move as well, but that's kind of it for this, this one storyboard panel. And then of course, I'm gonna need to do an effects animation. So it's kind of on me to decide if I'm gonna just motion tween this or use some kind of special effects or if I'm just gonna go and you know draw this frame by frame. Not really a big deal because if I go and kinda, if I kinda zoom in, um, I'm at frame 90 right here and then the end of it is over here at about 110. So that's like 10 drawings, not a real big deal. This one right here where the cup is moving, for sure I'm just gonna go and make a little cup on a layer and just motion tween all of that, okay? Um, just attach, attach a peg to it and be done with it. All right, so that's kind of, that's the nature of the work that we need to try to engage in. What you need to do is with as many scenes as you have, you need to create all of the content and then take that content and build your layers and animate them and export them. And within reason, you obviously, if you have like, if you have eight different scenes like mine, you're probably not gonna be able to do all of this stuff. However, you can always go and make three or four of these, like the really important ones, export the video, and then you could swap it out of your animatic. And uh, stay posted, you'll see some videos for that as well. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, again, just super fast review. You want to go to Storyboard Pro, make sure all of your scenes are labeled appropriately and they're split apart into scenes. Next, you want to do a file export to Harmony. Get all of your scenes. Choose a name and a location that makes sense. And then after that, just start going into each of these files and making your animation. You guys got two weeks. Take care. Bye-bye.